DICE confirms a free-to-play element of Battlefield 2042. Could it be Hazard Zone or could it actually be part of the game? Let's find out. Hey guys and welcome. Another day, another Battlefield 2042 video. And of course, we've got some new information about Hazard Zone, which is rumoured to be some type of Battle Royale mode or DICE's take on a Battle Royale mode. So typically one of the things that we mentioned previously in another video we did about a month or so ago or some leaks that have been rumored as well is that it's going to be very similar to escape from tarkov where you essentially spawn in with your own loadout you have to get from one side of the map to the other and throughout that you can obviously get kills loot different weapons and things from other people and obviously loot different coat pockets and uh, different buildings to try and find different resources and bits along those lines so that's one of the things that has been rumored and it's a very team oriented game where you have a squad of four and you have to again forget from one part of the map to your extraction zone which does sound really really cool and to be honest i like the idea of that you can stay in the game for 30 minutes to an hour if you wanted to or you could go straight from one end of the map to the other to gain that xp and just to exfil as quickly as you can as well so yeah it does sound really really cool very very excited to try it out with the team of four and yeah just on your own as well be very very intense and i'm really really looking forward to that however one of the latest things that we have received and heard about uh, the hazard zone which has come directly from the horse's mouth from dice themselves is that battlefield 2042 is going to of course be a live service and to be honest i think this is how every big title that releases in the future now is going to be i mean assassin's creed is now going to be a live service call of duty is a live service fortnite is a live service battlefield is a live service where essentially the game will release and throughout their life cycle of that game new content will be added weekly if not daily to that game I mean, with fortnite we see new skins and things like that added into the game every other day pretty much cod is the same we see with black ops cold war and warzone new weapon skins and blueprints added every other day if not every single week and with battlefield that's not going to be any exception now we're going to be add now this is going to be a game where we're going to get so much new content again with things like battlefield portal we're going to get new games being supported i think at the moment we've got battlefield 1 battlefield 2042 and bad company 2 obviously now going into the future we're going to have games such as battlefield 4 coming back battlefield 3 coming back you know you get the drift we're going to have things updated very very quickly and it's going to be really really cool however focusing on hazard zone itself it was mentioned by dice that battlefield 2042 was going to have some form of free to play aspect of the game following again from warzone fortnite and things along those lines because again free to play gives the opportunity for the player that doesn't necessarily want to spend the money on the game to have a go on the game give it a try and if they want the premium title they can then go ahead and buy that now for me one of the things that i'm thinking and this is what a lot of the community itself are speculating also is that hazard zone itself is going to be a free to play aspect of battlefield 2042 and then the other two game modes we've got all out warfare which is the normal battlefield we know and love and battlefield portal is going to be alongside the premium title now if hazard zone was free and it wasn't it was like an escape from tarkov kind of game i think it would absolutely take off if you've not played escape from tarkov already it is a hell of a lot of fun to play it's really 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 scary to play as well especially if you're on your own running through those maps because you've got to rely on things such as you've got to rely on hearing so so much footstep sounds weapon reloading different parts are like that you've got to listen to the voices of the scabs you've got to there's so much you've got to do on escape from tarkov to try and make sure make yourself aware of what's going on around you and if you do one bad move bro you are dead no kill cams nothing you're instantly you are punished for making mistakes and that's one of the good things about it but it's also one of the frustrating things about it again battlefield are going to have their own take on this again i'm not saying it's going to be a copy and paste of escape from tarkov battlefield are going to have their own take on a battle royale in quotation marks and that's what they've said um, it's not directly a battle royale however there is movement to make it as a traditional battle royale if that's what the community really really wants or if it hasn't if it doesn't take off as they intend it to so potentially hazard zone in a black so potentially hazard zone in battlefield 2042 could actually be free to play and you may not actually have to buy the game in order to play it which is going to be massive again games like halo multiplayer is free to play this year warzone free to play battlefield need to go dip dip their feet into that market to sort of keep abroad and afloat with those two massive AAA titles so, so yeah battlefield is going to be free to play in some aspect this year however it's not been confirmed as to what is going to be free to play yet but everyone is suspecting that Hazard Zone is going to be the free-to-play element of Battlefield 2042. And that, of course, is going to be not necessarily a traditional battle royale, but their take 
on a battle royale. And again, Escape from Tarkov is what's been rumored as to what's going to be very similar to, which, yeah, very, very excited about. Just a short update video today, guys. It's going to be, uh, yeah, a very interesting couple of weeks, months. We have the Battlefield Beta on September the 4th. We have the Battlefield Beta on September the 4th as well. Preload on the 3rd. Actually play it on the 4th. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cannot wait to play that as well. And yeah, we're probably going to hear a lot more details around Hazard Zone within the next month or so as well. So be sure to stick around on the channel if you guys want to be up to date with the latest and greatest Battlefield 2042 content updates. Yeah, really, really excited for the game, guys. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed. Subscribe for brand new videos like this one to keep up to date with all the new FPS shooters coming out this year. And guys, without further ado, we'll see you all in the next one.